My name is Kevin Hogg. I grew up in Southern California here in Commissionville High School. Graduated in 85, before your time. <laughs> but went out there with Cal State Fullerton, went into the Navy, went to flight school, was a Navy pilot for about nine years, flew airplanes, upside down, loops, helicopters. Like I said, anything that affords, any crime that aboard, it takes place aboard the aircraft we have jurisdiction for. Whether somebody gets molested, whether somebody steals money out of your purse, whether you and that other guy are staring each other down and doing the old, I'll be your new one, I'll be your new one, I'm gonna kick your butt when we land. They get in fights on planes, people take their clothes off on planes, they're usually drunk or mentally ill. We get a lot of crazy people pulling up to the airport. This guy rolled up there. I think I'm Son Hussein's son. You know, I'm a terrorist stuff. This is what happens when you do too many drugs. Who do you live with when you're 40? Mom and Dad. I'm going to teach you or show you a little bit of what we do, where we're at, and uh, why we do what we do. And we all work together. I mean, even though we're all different um, agencies, we all somehow get connected and, and work together. So hopefully that will trying to, trying to fight someone who's probably twice as bigger than you, that you know that they're going to harm you. That's probably the most dangerous thing, because you're fighting, you're either, am I going to die or am I going to go home? And that's with everyone. That's what you think. My question, go ahead. The biggest bust that we've ever had? Well, it just depends. Um, usually, if it's not involving a big cocaine or marijuana, some big drug, then that would be considered the biggest bust. My personal biggest bust, or at least the one thing that I'm happy for, is actually uh, putting a pedophile in jail. I'm in the training division, and I am working what's called POP, which is Police Orientation Preparation Program. That program is designed to help out uh, young adults that are interested in law enforcement, such as yourself. It's a high school student. And we run it like a police academy, so you could know exactly what it's like to be in the police academy. Uh, we do PT, you will have to do what re the recruits do, and you really get a feel of what it's like to be an LAPD recruit. You're dedicated and motivated to be in the internship program. So, our interns usually work uh, from 20 to 40 hours. It's optional, you know, you may want to work 20 hours and then go to summer school, or maybe work somewhere else, you can do that as well. Or you have the opportunity to work full time, 40 hours. And our jobs are mostly Monday through Friday, like a general job. There are a few positions that are available on the weekend because of different community activities and events. Enough. I must say, this GSS program is incredible. Um, I grew up in East Texas, small rural town. My summer internships were uh, working at a beer store and like failing pace. So you guys already have a leg up on my high school uh, experience. That's why you have to load time afterwards. So we're going to talk a little bit about what Coast Guard does on the average day. I want to talk about what my unit does here in California. And I'm going to talk about what Coast Guard does globally and, uh, and nationally. So on average Coast Guard day, uh, throughout the U.S., there's 109 search and rescue cases done. We save 10 lives, assist 192 people in distress, seize 169 pounds of marijuana, 306 pounds of cocaine, and at an average net street value of $10 million, process 238 seasons. I mean, if you're interested in it, why not, get, why not take advantage of so the opportunity to get work alongside the opposition? Yeah. All right. You gotta have a high school education or the equivalents of thereof, such as your GED. Right? So you have to be 21 years of age before we can put you on the street in a police car to go out and do the job. 21 years of age. However, at 20 and a half, you can apply to come on the job because by the time you go through the whole process, we could take as long as a year to get onto the job. Right? You will already have made 21. We can put you through the training, put you on the street. Okay, but anyway, border uh, officers, uh, we, we enforce the, the laws. Okay, commercial, vehicle laws, uh, driving under the influence, all those things that everybody sort of as we get older, we do one or twice in our time. But anyway, 8,000 to 9,000. Um, usually they come from Europe. Yeah, that, that's that's why I can't train, sit still. Train at all time. Um, this, the reason he's reacting very much is because he's smelling a, an explosive motor that I have here for you guys for training. He's, he's wiggling himself, and the reason he does that is because this is what this dog 
And this dog lives for right here. Just one. Money. Money, right? <laughs> this is his green. This is his money. That's all he cares about. He's like, give my money. <laughs> the reason I want that is because that's when he gets to play with me. I'm his dad. I'm his, I'm his boss. That's all he wants to do. Yeah, he goes home with me at all times. When I go to work. Uh, all his commands are in French. So if I want him to bark, I would say, au revoir. Oh, Kili. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. See, this is what he works for. This is great. Done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Winning was a boy growing up. Yeah, I did everything that my mama said should. I didn't do wrong. I heard the song. Don't hang with through pain. Out alone. In my life, I had to learn. There's danger around the corner at every turn. Walking down the street, you better watch your back. There's a bad guy out there in the middle of the jack. Walk the beats and not the balance. Well, light the streets and not the house. Back to your bus with transportation. Anything else like education. Walk the beats and not the balance. Well, light the streets and not the alley. Back to your bus for transportation. Anything else like education. There's a lesson my mom ain't learned. If you touch that fire, it's gonna burn. There's a lesson my mom ain't learned. If you touch that fire, it's gonna burn. Yeah. <laughs>